this is my social blade profile for all of those who are actively wondering so here it is oh wait I have 900 videos already <laughs> Hey guys, it's Fanat Guide, and believe it or not, this is my 900th video. And I can't believe we were able to get to 900 videos in just over one year. I believe we actually have more videos than most YouTubers out there now. I could stand corrected, but you can just let me know in the comments below if I do, or if I am correct. But anyway, regardless of the numbers, that does actually put us one step closer to 1,000 videos. But anyway, this is actually Valorant we are going to be playing the unrated practice mode and obviously if you haven't seen the 800th video that was actually me playing in Terraria and then all the ones before that were just Minecraft anyway let's just get into it So, if you were wondering about what I said I would do regarding my whole equipment upgrade wish list, I have not done any of that yet. I plan to. Let's just play as Brim. But anyway, I've not done any of that because of the, well, primarily of the chip shortages that have been going on. That's mainly due to the, it's mainly regarding the desktop computer and whatnot. I think the monitors are largely unaffected by that. I am not entirely sure. So I'm going to have to check. I think it's mainly the desktop computers because they need the semiconductors for the CPU and the GPU. And I am also still using the blue snowball. I want to get the Shure SM7B sometime soon. But the only downside is that's very expensive. So I'm looking at some alternatives. I may end up getting, just getting the SM7B anyway, so. Then, regarding the monitors, I am looking at getting 4K monitors. So, I can use the Xbox Series X with it and potentially a PS5 and have true 4K gaming. So that's where I'm going with that. And then use my current monitor for like viewing live chat. So, where's the spike? So those are my plans. How quickly they evolved. And then, something that I did get was a surge protector for my current setup, which I ordered the other day, but 
it is still not here. It said it would be here today. Today is the 14th as I am recording this. And it said it would be late, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Anyway. I'm going to actually change my agent to Silva. So that's basically it with those, like the set of upgrades. But the search protector is going to be here soon. I don't know when. They said it would be here today, but it's going to be late. And then, regarding what is going on with my channel, you may Deploying have drone. noticed that I've been basically doing a lot of Sonic Mania stuff. That just ended the other week, and I did that in commemoration of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise's 30th anniversary. So I thought that would be something fun to do. And also, because Mania was a very highly regarded game, so I thought, it would, I thought, hmm, why not do Mania? I haven't played that, but Mania not only takes the place of the 25th anniversary game in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, it also shares that with Forces, which is not as highly regarded as Mania. But I might chose Mania because of the classic Sonic style gameplay, like from the 1990s. And I thought it would be fun to have on the channel. And it appears you guys are liking it as well. Or you guys did like it. So. Anyway. If you would like me to have something on the channel. Let me know in the comments below. And. I will. Try to see if I can do it. Because I always like to accommodate my viewers the best I can as seen by the botched Fortnite video and so yeah if you like if you want me to do something if you would like me to do something just let me know in the comments below I'll try to do it the best I can so Anyway, spike the fuse. Oh, I am the hunter. I don't see much of it around here. After all, this is pretty much a Rap town after all but anyway as for the future of my channel besides trying to accommodate 
view requests the best I can. What's my to the best of my ability? I will also be looking into like more next gen games. I tried out Hitman 3, that was not really my style. I've also done or I'm doing right now Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. And that is pretty interesting. And I will also be trying out Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I plan to, but due to the reports on it bricking various Xbox Series X's and PS5's, I'm going to do that on the PC. I have yet to find out whether or not that is available on Steam or the Epic Games Store. I think it's on the Epic Games Store, the, probably the Blizzard Store. I'm, I've yet to find out which one it's on. But, anyway. Well, that's besides also Halo Infinite, which was supposed to launch alongside the Xbox Series X and S last fall, but that didn't happen because Microsoft delayed the game. But I'd rather have a delayed game so they can like polish it rather than its release like Cyberpunk 2077 did. Like what a mess that was. But anyway, Halo Infinite will be coming whenever that comes out. So, in order to fill that time, I am going to do the games in the Master Chief Collection. So, I'm doing Halo 3 right now. I'm going to do Halo 3 ODST after that, and then Halo Reach after that. And then, obviously, Halo 4. That's the last game in the Master Chief Collection. And... Then move on to Halo 5 because that would be a whole separate thing. Halo 5 is not part of the Master Chief Collection. That's only available on the Xbox One and on the Xbox Series consoles through backwards compatibility. And then move on to Halo Infinite either on... I'm leaning toward the Series X because it was supposed to launch alongside that. And as for the Black Ops Cold War campaign, that's what I'm planning on for that. I'm only going to do that on the PC, like I said, because of the reported bricking of the Xbox Series X and PS5 consoles. And then, as well, I'm also planning Outriders, possibly. I'm looking into it. And also, Back for Blood. I have, as I have made, some Left for Dead 2 content. Well, Matt Matic has made much more than me, but his is just recorded on his phone, not an actual stream recorder or a capture card. So in other words, much worse quality. But that's the big, the biggest difference between those, between his videos and my videos, other than the Minecraft story mode videos, which are recorded at my place, and then I edit those videos and and then post them on the respective channels. Anyway, the point is. Back for Blood, I'm looking into. It should be interesting. It is not surprising to me that a lot of Left 4 Dead fans are coming back to Back for Blood. Because Left 4 Dead was a popular game. Or a popular franchise, I should say. 
and it doesn't surprise me to see a lot of Back for Blood, a lot of people who played Left for Dead coming back to buy Back for Blood. So, to me, the game looks pretty interesting. I like for, I like what I saw in the trailer. It looks pretty interesting overall. So, we should see where that goes. And I actually look forward to seeing it myself. I'm actually leaning toward getting it. And I may end up getting it on the PC, I don't know. It's supposed to launch on pretty much all platforms. I don't know if it's going to launch on the Switch or Stadia. I know it's going to launch on the PS4 and PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, whatnot. I'm also considering, like I said, Outriders. And I have yet to look at others. I may end up... I've also been considering, like I said, or I don't think I've said this, but I've also been considering a PS5 for myself so I could play all the exclusive con all the exclusive games on there, like Ratchet and Clank Rift Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and Demon Souls which is which Demon Souls is basically just a remaster of a PS3 game. So I think those should be pretty cool. And ooh. And then I've also been considering a Switch because they've been really popular. You know, Mario has been a really popular franchise. And you can only get those, like most of the Mario games, except for like Super Mario Run. And also, what's that? The one Mario Kart game you can get on iOS. I know I made a video of it, about it. But anyway, most of the Mario games you can only get on Nintendo platforms like the Switch and whatnot. So that's why I was considering a Switch. So I was actually considering getting a Switch before the PS5 because the PS5 is a lot harder to obtain mainly because of the chip shortages we've been seeing. I think, from what I've seen, that the Switch is easier to obtain because, probably because it's been around for a lot longer, it's cheaper. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Let me know if I'm wrong. But, I'd have to look into the stock. It seems like, like the Switch is in stock more than the PS5, obviously. The, the PS5 is almost never in stock. So, those are my plans for the future of the channel. But, otherwise, we basically covered what will be coming for my setup, which is basically an addendum to the 800th video, and also what will be coming for the channel as sort of like a channel update so if you enjoyed this video then please make sure to rate comment and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time